Hello, my name is Cactus Con Carne, and welcome to my kitchen, or kitchen adjacent. Today, we're doing a cactus cut, and why we're doing cactus cut, I'll explain later in the video, but um, this is McDonald's new, it's called the Potato Roasty and Bacon Burger. Now, what is a potato roasty? That was my question as well. Essentially, so what a potato roasty is, is essentially, well, it's essentially a glorified hash brown. It's a potato patty that's been fried. It looks just like their hash browns. Um... There's mayonnaise, I believe, on this. Bacon, as you can see, all over it. And I've already had this once. And this is my second attempt at eating it. It was good the first time. Um, looks like there's maybe oatmeal, oats, on the top of the bun. It's a different bun than what they usually have anyways. So, what your cross section looks like is your potato patty here, bacon, meat, cheese, all that other good stuff. Now, this is one of their new seasonal cheeseburgers. There's only this one. Last year they had a couple different ones. And, um... Personally, I think this is good. It's a break away from what they normally do. But of course, everybody is doing the, let's put potato on our burgers. But um, I personally think it's not as good as their ones they had last year. I'm going to be looking at my hands for a little bit. Not as good as the ones I had last year. But they do pair it with something else. Now these are McDonald's waffle fries. Now usually I don't like waffle fries because they're overdone as in overcooked and really um burnt obviously from being overcooked too crispy but these are essentially just it's McDonald's secret formula and I mean their their fries are amazing everybody goes there for their fries and they're soft little bit of crunch that you want it's not too overpowering they're not salted to the nines they're a little bit more pricey than regular fries. But if you get them in the combo with the, the burger, then it's slightly less and etc, etc, like it normally is. These are really good. I, uh, I really like them. And would I say they're better than their regular fries? No. But it, it's a, it's a nice uh, nice change from regular boring old fries. The last thing that I got is a secret menu item. Now it's not really that secret because they have it on the menu, kind of. I've just made a slight change to it. It's their poutine. Now, why did I get a poutine? Because theirs is really good. If anybody anywhere else in the world is watching this and doesn't know what poutine is, it's essentially, what it says right here, gravy, real cheese curds, and their famous fries. And, you know, fries, cheese, and then the gravy on top to melt the cheese. What I've done is I asked for their waffle fries on top of 
instead of regular fries. Now, I was assured by the manager that this was the, the best thing that they've got. And he doesn't know why they don't have it on the regular menu, why they didn't say, hey, um, just have a waffle fries poutine. But essentially, the waffle fries being one price, they're, like I said, pricier than their regular fries, and then you have to charge for the cheese curds and the gravy is another price on top of that. So unfortunately, this is a little bit pricey in and of itself, but uh, I bit the bullet, and now I'm going to bite this fry. And it's, um, it's pretty darn good, too. And if you ask them nicely, they shouldn't have a problem making this. It's not that much of a difference between regular fries and this. I had to wait a little bit longer because they had to make my waffle fries fresh. But it gives a completely different mouthfeel. <clears throat> to the old poutine ways. And this is definitely a step in a different direction. And uh, like I said, this should be on their menu normally, but it's not. So it's a secret menu item. Mm. This is a good meal in and of itself. Just the, the burger and the fries fine. It's not, not too terribly much. Um, like I said, it's a step in the right direction. They're, they're trying everything. They're trying new things, trying to get people to come in. And, I mean, obviously it's worked. I've, I've been in twice in the last two days. Obviously to try and eat one for you guys and, and to eat one for myself. But I didn't know about it when I went in there. There's not that much promotional stuff going on yet. So I think it's relatively new. The reason I'm doing this video instead of a regular Cactus Cooks is starting next month, beginning of next month, I am going to be doing Cactus's Holiday Favorites. Now, I'm still going to, there's, there's at least one from the book that I'm going to do. Um, I do it every year. It's become a staple in my household. And I'm not going to spoil it for you. But the other ones are probably going to be from the internet. And uh, there's a lot of them that I've done from the internet. I usually it's something that you can take along with you. My family usually gets together at somebody else's house. Because it's easier. All my, all my family's in, you know, the city. Edmonton and Spruce Grove and wherever. So we all congregate to one place and usually one person does all the cooking and I always feel bad because I'm there to well I usually just bring my hunger and eat everybody else's food so I started to bring something else I wanted to bring something that everybody else could eat take something off from the you know the pressure of the the host of the of the house of Christmas that year so these are some good holiday things you can take with you. Um, one's a dessert. I know I've been doing desserts a lot lately, but everybody loves dessert. And uh, they're going to be sides, essentially. Appetizers, sides, whatever you want to want to call it. So you guys can look forward to that. Make sure to like, comment, either down below on YouTube, if you don't have a YouTube account, go on to my Facebook, Cactus Con Carne, Facebook.com, and leave a comment there. You can leave a comment of what to, what you would like to see me cook in the future on the Cactus Cooks of the Internet portion. I've already got a couple that other people have stated, and that's going to come probably in January. Because December I'm focusing on 
Cactus's favorite things. And... I mean, that's essentially planned itself. So, comment, YouTube or Facebook. Um, say, hey, you did a good job. Hey, you suck. Whatever you want to say. Any, you know, criticism is good criticism. And, uh, like I said, leave your suggestions. Uh, like, comment, share. If you're on Facebook, give me a share. Helps me out. Then keep bringing these videos to you. If you like them, obviously, share it. If you don't, then don't share. But if you think, hey, look at this, you know, look at this guy. He's such a joke, and you want to share it with your friends, that helps me out, too. So, uh, there's that. And you can also subscribe on YouTube. Now, if you have a Google email, essentially any email works, it's easy to sign up on YouTube.com. You need uh, just one account for a lot of Google things, and you can go from there. So if you want to subscribe on YouTube, you can do it there. You can also follow the, the posts on Facebook to get notified when I post a new video. I usually post to, obviously, post to YouTube first, so anybody who's there first gets it. But as soon as it's posted, I post it straight to my Facebook feed, and then... I'll share it on my own personal Facebook feed. So any of my friends, if you keep seeing duplicates, that's why, because I'm sharing it on my personal Facebook as well, because uh, apparently a lot of my friends still don't know I'm doing this. So that's it for me. This was the potato roasty and bacon cheeseburger. Uh, from McDonald's and waffle fries and waffle fry poutine good stuff uh, and we'll see you in two weeks for our first holiday cactus cooks gotta make sure I water my little cactus buddy not too much though see you in two weeks Make sure he gets a bunch of sun.